Hello, this is Real Rambles. I'm going to discuss the psychological thriller mystery movie, Flight Plan, which is a German-American production. Beware, spoilers ahead. Take care and be cautious. Kyle Pratt is having a difficult night. Kyle, an American aircraft engineer, recently lost her spouse in Berlin, leaving her a widow. With Julia, her four-year-old daughter, she must fly her husband's body to the United States. Kyle takes the medication her doctor has recommended to help her with her anxiousness. The taxi is waiting for them to take them to the airport the following day as it is snowing outside. Julia becomes anxious when Kyle misplaces her at the airport. She sees adults, foreigners, couples, and strangers. However, nobody kid-sized. She makes a turn to see Julia over near a knick-knack shop. She warns her not to stray off without her permission in an irate tone. Soon, Kyle and Julia will fly in a plane that Kyle co-designed. They arrive onto the airplane first. Looking out her window, Julia exhales steam onto the glass, which she uses to create a little, awkward heart with her finger. Kyle then has a nap, but awakes and notices Julia has left her seat. Kyle tries to ask the other travelers, but no one can remember seeing her. The flight attendant suggests that Julia might be playing with kids her age. Kyle searches the aisle for Julia but can't see her anywhere. Kyle keeps looking around, with a growing sense of discomfort. She checks their row again, and discovers behind a blanket, Julia's bear with one arm. That's strange, because Julia never leaves her bear behind. Kyle asks Stephanie, a flight attendant, to assist her in locating Julia. As she announces a youngster is missing, Stephanie offers to assist her. Stephanie informs her that there is no record of her daughter boarding the airplane, much to her amazement. Kyle is perplexed. She tries to verify it by displaying her boarding card because she is certain that her daughter was present. But Kyle can't locate Julia's boarding pass. Additionally, she discovers that her daughter's rucksack is missing from the overhead compartment, which is improbable given that Julia isn't tall enough to have climbed up there on her own. Jean Carson, a Sky Marshal, notices this circumstance and starts keeping an eye on her as she looks for her kid. Kyle insists on seeing the Captain Marcus Rich so she can enlist his help in finding her daughter. The Captain inquires as to whether Kyle is taking any medications after learning that there is no record of her daughter entering the aircraft. Kyle admits that she is using sleeping pills to help with her anxiety following the loss of her husband. Kyle goes on to say that her husband passed just six days ago after falling from their roof, and she doesn't think he committed suicide. The captain and the other crew members believe Kyle has turned insane as a result of her husband's passing and has had visions of boarding the ship with her daughter. Kyle is adamant about searching thoroughly for Julia. Captain Rich grudgingly concurs and directs the crew to conduct a thorough investigation. The cabin's lights are turned on. All passengers are reminded to stay in their seats during the announcement. When Stephanie descends to the avionics area, she continues to find no one there. Kyle notices an Egyptian man while she is actively looking. She confronts him as she recognizes him but has trouble recalling how, her mind is currently too jumbled. Kyle then requests that the captain search the cargo hold for Julia. Captain Rich forbids this and irately complains that hundreds of passengers on this trip are currently going unattended because all flight attendants are occupied looking for a child who no one believes was ever on board. Kyle reacts poorly to it, and dashes over to the Egyptian man. As she now recalls seeing him last night, looking into her daughter's bedroom, she accuses the man of snatching her daughter. Angered by the accusation, the man produces receipts from the motel where he was staying, which is not even close to her flat. Chaos then follows. The two fight after Kyle compels the man to confess. Her behavior has become tiresome to Carson, who claims that her husband's passing now makes more sense. After spending a few hours with her, even he feels like jumping. Captain Marcus soon after receives a telegram from the Berlin hospital stating that Julia was with her father when he fell off the roof and died of internal injuries. The crew now thinks she is insane. Kyle vehemently refutes it. She is positive Julia is still on the plane and alive. By inventing such a tale, Kyle has now made Carson feel threatened, so he binds her and keeps her seated. When Lisa, a therapist, approaches and comforts her, Kyle begins to question her own sanity. She is starting to accept the loss of her daughter now. She suddenly discovers, nevertheless, that the heart Julia had earlier drawn on the window next to her seat is real. Kyle grows more and more certain that something strange is occurring. 
then she successfully persuades the therapist to let her use the loo. Instead, she enters the upper compartment and disables the aircraft's electronics, causing the oxygen masks to deploy and disrupting the lights. Everyone on board, including the crew, begins to worry, but Carson realizes Kyle is the one responsible. To access the lower freight deck, she exploits the commotion to board a dumbwaiter. There, she discovers her husband's coffin. She opens the casket believing Julia could be inside but only discovers her husband's body. She is located, handcuffed, and escorted back as Carson announces that the flight is making an emergency stopover at Goose Bay Airport and that she will be arrested there. One of the travelers starts to applaud as she is led to her seat. As it grows, the cheers fill the deck. The Egyptian man is among others who are gazing at her. When Kyle gets to the back row, she stops and takes a seat there. Kyle asks Carson one last time to search the aircraft when it lands. After giving it some thought, Carson decides to talk with the captain. He sneaks down to the goods deck instead of approaching the captain. There, he removes two explosives and a detonator concealed in David's casket. He then descends to the avionics area and secures the explosives to the platform's side, exposing Julia, who is dozing off. At this moment, it is made clear that Carson was the driving force behind everything. Because Kyle knew about the jet, Carson and Stephanie planned to take it over for a $50 million ransom and frame her. They kidnapped Julia to have Kyle unlock the coffin containing the explosives and detonator. Carson claims Kyle is a hijacker and informs the captain of her threat to blow up the plane unless the airline deposits $50 million into a bank account. Then, Carson informs an alarmed Stephanie that he plans to blow up the aircraft, murdering Julia while she is unconscious, and leave Kyle dead with the detonator in her hand. As the jet is about to land, Kyle anxiously peers out of the window. The emergency landing has confused other travelers. The passengers leave the aircraft once it lands. Kyle confronts the captain as he is about to leave and he yells angrily that the ransom has been paid. This is perplexing to Kyle. She soon understands that everything is Carson's doing. He takes advantage of the circumstance to distort the facts and portray Kyle as a terrorist. Realizing what is transpiring, Kyle chooses to exploit this position as the hijacker by ordering Carson to stay on board while ordering the crew to leave. Carson hesitates, but he is aware that if he does nothing, it will be assumed that he is the one carrying out the ruse. Kyle uses a fire extinguisher to knock Carson out she then shackles him to a rail and removes the explosives from his pocket. Stephanie emerges from hiding, Carson becomes conscious. Kyle is being pursued by him, and he is firing until she locks herself in the cockpit and hurls out a binder. Carson departs after hearing a bang from the upstairs. Kyle leaves and runs into a repentant Stephanie. She is punched by her, which causes her to abandon the plane in a panic. Julia is found there unconscious as Kyle searches for her daughter in the avionics. She instantly carries her. Following quickly, Carson explains that he killed her spouse in order to hide the explosives inside his coffin at the checkpoint because he knew it wouldn't be examined there. With the detonator in hand, Kyle transfers Julia into the non-combustible hold of the aircraft right away. As she shuts the door, Carson fires at her. She sets the bombs off, shielding them with the hold's non-combustible walls as the plane explodes, killing Carson. The staff and passengers watch the explosion in disbelief. A moment later, Kyle and her daughter show up. All the passengers are astonished to learn that Kyle had been telling the truth the entire time as she carries her daughter out onto the tarmac. Captain Rich approaches Kyle the following morning in the airport terminal and expresses regret for his skepticism. The FBI arrests Stephanie and leads her away, telling them along the way that the director of the Berlin mortuary has also been taken into custody. Julia is being carried by Kyle through the crowd of passengers who have realized the truth. Everyone is shocked and feeling a little bad for not trusting her. Julia awakens and asks groggily, are we there yet? As they prepare to depart, in the climactic scene, the Egyptian traveler offers to assist her by picking up her suitcase out of respect and contrition. To support the channel, switch on notifications, subscribe for more content like this, and leave a like.